Animal Crossing New Horizons, the fifth installment of the Animal Crossing series, came out on the 20th of March. You arrive on a deserted island where you have to build everything from scratch, unlike the other games where you start off in an already built city. I think this is what makes the beauty of the game. It's your island, you decide what to do with it and how. So you start off with a tent when you arrive and have to build your way up from there, with a system which uses debts. Debts which you owe to the one and only Tom fucking Nuke, the biggest scam in the history of Nintendo games. It's like one day he'd go up to you and be like, enjoy your new house, here you go, and then he'd be like, boy I want that debt now. Speaking of debt, yeah I know, what a good transition. There's a new money system in the game called Miles Nook. These Miles Nooks are available by completing the same chores you do every single day like getting wood, popping balloons and so on. Something I didn't tell you is that this game also works on a full day cycle to the real world, so it can be pretty annoying when you're playing at 4am and have nothing to do and then you realise all your villagers and residents are already asleep. But obviously, there is always the good old trick of setting your console time to the next day, but every time I do it I always feel a bit of remorse. Then again, I can't be asked to wait two days for the museum to finish building while my whole inventory is full with insects and fossils. Yes, because there is a museum in the game, and I have to say Nintendo did a pretty good job with it. It's really fun to collect different bugs and animals for the museum and seeing it grow. I actually spent more time in the museum than I thought I would. Another really good thing which I appreciate Nintendo for doing is the system where you can go to your friend's islands and they can go to yours. I think this is very timing for this kind of gaming because even if we can't see our friends in real we can meet up on each other's islands. I even saw a video of some friends setting up a marriage in the game because they had to delay it because of the confinement. But of course, not every game is perfect and this game has its cons as well. There's a thing in which I think Nintendo should have done a bit better in my opinion. Picture this, you get Animal Crossing New Horizons the day it comes out. You've been hyped about it for months, and then you realise that you have to share the same island with all the accounts on of the Switch. Which means, in my case this happened, as soon as your brothers and sisters get their turn to play, they can do absolutely everything they want on the island. But apart from that, I don't really see any inconveniences of the game itself. It's really fun going to other people's islands and see what they have created, and I assure you, no one's island is the same because there are so many opportunities and unlockables. And I think that's the beauty of it all. Everyone is free to do what they want in their own image, Right now, Animal Crossing New Horizons is probably my favourite game in this period of quarantine because it is like a second life. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss out on a video. I hope to see you in a future video. I've been Tim from Tripods. See you.